you've all had a lovely new year and Christmas and all that jazz. I'm really sorry there was radio silence on here for like the last month I would say nearly but you guys if you've been with me for a long time you know things always quiet down for me in December because I've got uni hand-ins and I also go back to work for Christmas. So I was back at Chanel for Christmas and I've just handed in my uni work so it's all free time for me and I'm so excited to start making new videos and get back into a little bit of a consistency rhythm over the next few months. For you guys today I have a makeup one because like I said I have been back at work and a bit more into makeup lately and I thought that I would run you through some things I got for Christmas and just some beauty bits that I've also picked up like over the last month that I didn't get to show you guys and just do like a little kind of tutorial here and there where I can so you can actually see the products working. To save a bit of time, I've already put on my base, which is a little bit of Dr. Jart's Premium BB Cream, just because I don't need a lot of coverage today. And to save time, I've also put on my eyeliner and a little bit of neutral shadow, which I will talk you through in a second. So everything else I will be trying to apply for you guys. A lot of this stuff will be like first time application as well, so you will get like an honest sort of review. Oh, and I am filming on a new camera today. It's the Canon 70D. It's actually my boyfriend's, it's not mine, but it should be higher quality. I'm still getting to grips with using it, but do let me know what you think of the quality in the down there below. Also, my background is still in construction. I'm looking for a really nice sort of poster or print with a nice quote on it. If you guys know any sites that do kind of nice quotes, like uplifting, positive, fun quotes, let me know. First up is the Chanel Universal Bronzer or the Soleil de Hand de Chanel. Um, it's the one that comes in the big jar like this. Really, really popular product from Chanel kind of is I don't know how to describe it it's sort of like a cream bronzer it looks like it's kind of whipped but it's not it's actually quite like a solid formula but it does go on beautifully onto the skin with a nice big fluffy brush really really natural you can wear it under your makeup on top of your makeup anything like that and um, I was never really too fussed about this just because it's not an awful lot darker than my own skin tone but actually it has been working for me this year I've been using it with the good old Fateful Buffing Brush from Real Techniques. It's just one of those brushes that seems to apply everything amazingly. And I just kind of swirl my brush in it a little bit. You can be sort of generous with it. I've been really enjoying using it because I haven't really properly worn bronzer in a long time. Because sometimes when you contour, you sort of just put bronzing to the side. I don't know, I have anyway for the last few years. And I was thinking of um, getting the Bourjois chocolate bronzer but now I don't need to because I have this so I just put it all over the face a little bit on the jawline and obviously on the temples just to give a nice kind of tanned look and it just definitely gives a nice warm glow to the face if you do want to keep the product clean because it does tend to make little bristles and hairs stick to the product then just scoop out a little bit of the product and put it on the back of your hand like with a spatula and then kind of rub your brush into it and um, but today i'm just being a little bit lazy <laughs> another million three purchase for me is shishado perfect mascara this version i actually haven't tried before it's the perfect mascara just full definition usually i use the uh, defining volume for the last few times i've gotten it but that one only comes in waterproof and they're actually quite hard to find these days. I don't know if they're being discontinued. So anytime I have the money, I usually pick up kind of a backup. And I decided to try this one this time because the full definition one isn't waterproof. Uh, the, well, this one version isn't waterproof. And I just thought it might be a little bit less harsh on my lashes because the other one is quite weakening on your lashes if you don't take care of them properly, which I usually don't. I thought I would give this one a go because I've had great experiences with all the perfect mascaras from Shiseido. So hopefully this one will be a little bit gentler on my lashes. So let's give it a go. Usually I get a lot of separation and length with the first coat and then I usually build up the volume on the second coat. And you guys have heard me say it a million times, but this is the only mascara that really does give me everything I want from my mascara and holds the curl. Um, I've tried lots of waterproof ones from like the drugstore and you know pharmacy kind of brands but they just don't do it for me like this one does. So I think one coat will do me fine for today. I picked up quite a few NARS bits last month. Some of you would have seen a few of these on my Instagram already, but let's get straight into it. First up, I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I got mine in the shade Custard, quite a popular shade. I thought it would be a shade lighter, but 
this one had a little bit more correcting properties in it for me um, and I really have been enjoying using it. For me it is a concealer, it is a really long lasting one for under the eyes and it's pretty good coverage but I still do have to use my Bobbi Brown, um, what's this one called? Tinted Eye Brightener, the liquid one. It's kind of like the corrector in a liquid form. Just to correct first, it is a great concealer, but it is not a corrector. So I still do have to use two products, but I'm really, really happy with the results from this. So I usually um, just dab a little bit under my eyes. I'm usually quite generous with it because as you guys know, my under eye bags are not particularly my best friend. So I just put anywhere I have a shadow, in the corners of my mouth and maybe a little bit there. Use a brush to kind of do my face and around my nose, those kind of tricky bits. But for the under eyes, I do like to use my fingers just to warm up the product really, really well and get it right into the skin. And I bring it all the way to the top of my cheekbones just for an added highlight. You guys know I love a good palette. I like things to be compact and have kind of a few variations in one little thing and I don't like them to be too big either. This is something I had my eye on and Kyle actually did really well and he picked it up for me. Um, I think I mentioned ages ago that I wanted it and then I forgot I asked for it and then he got it and I was just really happy. So it's one of the kind of limited edition kind of Christmas ones that Space and K were doing and it's the Virtual Domination palette and it basically is a cheek palette. So here it is, it looks gorgeous and um, I'm really happy I didn't miss out on this one this year. So it has, what does it have? It has Miss Liberty Deep Throat Laguna Bronzer, um, Final Cut Blush and Sex Fantasy. So four blushes and one bronzer. Hmm, let's try the pink one because I've wanted to try a shade like this for the longest. And it's a shade I wouldn't really go for usually because I'm always a bit of a peachy girl. But I saw a girl that had a similar skin tone to me and ethnicity and it just really, really popped on her. So hopefully it will look good on me too. So I'm just using a real technique contour brush to apply my blush, just because I like a small brush. And I'm applying it mostly to the backs of my cheeks. It doesn't come out as bright pink as it is in the palette which I'm kind of sad about I don't know why but anytime I go for a really really pale pink instead of coming out like an icy pink it just tends to just come out like a normal pink on me but it's still a really cute color and it does suit my skin tone quite nicely I think with these they look quite skin like which is nice um while we're at it let's go ahead and use some of the little kind of sparkly highlighter when I swatched this in store I wasn't too keen on it because it did look like very glittery I like shimmery highlighters but I don't like very glittery highlighters and I haven't really been into highlighting my cheeks all that much lately I feel like it's a little bit on the way out but I think we can all appreciate a good highlighter all the same so let's give it a go Okay, it is a little bit glittery, but it's actually more on the shimmery side. At the same time, it's not like unwearable or anything. I think those palettes were about 42, but I think it's a really good value considering how many blushes you get compared to the kind of retail price of one blush. This is something that I got myself. Again, it was coming out with sort of their Christmas releases and um, that is exclusive to Space and K. I'm sure a few other places, if I can find it anywhere else, be linked down below. I got this in November-ish maybe, just because I needed a beauty fix and I thought again, this was great value for money. I saw it in their catalog for Christmas and basically it's one, two, three, four, five, slightly miniature uh, versions of their lip crayons that they do and I think the 
orange and the reds are matte and then the other ones are I think are their more satiny like normal finish one. I'm excited to try this. The only shade that was putting me off was this kind of milky corally colour because they don't really suit me and it doesn't really suit me so I might sell it on Depop but I love this nude here. This is the only one I've actually tried. I haven't tried any of the bolder shades yet but I am looking forward to trying them. If you follow me on Instagram it's at Tarmers. I will definitely kind of maybe do like a whole week where I just try every single colour that I've gotten in there and post it on Instagram for you guys. So, and it does wear off beautifully as well. This shade is Descanso? Descanso. I put all the colours in the down bar below and also swatch them somewhere in this video for you guys. Oh, these are just so nice and soft. So that's what the colour Des Canso looks like and like I said the pencils are about this side so they're slightly miniature but there's still quite a lot in them. I don't tend to go through my lip products awfully quickly anyway. I think literally for all five colours it was only something like £32, £34 and I think that is such a good value to get like you know five lip colours from NARS. I did also pick up a few things from Boots. I got two of the Rouge of Edition Velvets and one of these shades I had to get because I saw it on Viviana Does Makeup. Unfortunately, I don't think those kind of bold shades do much for me, but I will try and rock them because they look gorgeous on her. I haven't tried it yet. It's the Rouge Edition Velvet in, um, oh, I think this one is called 05. I can't see the name of it, but it's sort of a magenta purpley pink. And then also this one I've been loving. I have worn this a few times. It's the nudist in the shade 07. Absolutely love these. I also picked up a Stila blush a few months ago when I was in London and I got the shade Camellia because you guys know I do like a good cream blusher and I love this shade. I love these sort of bronzy, rosy, undertoned sort of colours. I don't know, I think they just really look well with a nice contour shade and put this on the cheeks on top. Oh, really, really nice. I'm not going to put it on obviously today, but I will swatch it for you guys. And if you've got any sort of olivey type skin tone, they look gorgeous. And they just look, if you go for a brown lip quite a lot, like if you'd like to wear kind of shades like Top by MAC or Spice Lip Liner by MAC, this is a really, really nice kind of complimentary blush shade to go with that as well because it does have a bit of a, a peachy pink undertone to it. I think these were like £13 each, maybe a bit more, uh, but the shade is Camellia. As in boots, I also repurchased one of my favourite moisturisers. It's the Garnier Moisture Match for normal to dry skin, the light softening cream. So they do these in a few different um, colours and each colour is for a different skin type. But I love this one. This is for the normal to dry skin. It smells amazing. It smells really, really like uh, the Hydramax or Hydra Beauty. I think they've changed the name from Chanel, the kind of standard moisturiser they do in a tub. I believe it's Camellia and the Hydra Beauty one as well. But um, I love this. It's a kind of like a gel cream formula, just like the Chanel one. And oh, I love it so much. And it does, definitely does what it says. It's a softening cream. It keeps my skin moisturized all day, even in the winter. And I do have dry skin. So that one is a cheap and cheerful one that just really is a nice moisturizer. It is perfume though. So if you are a little bit of a sensitive skin type person, it might be one to avoid. But if your skin's all good, I definitely try it. I feel like it's nice and light and it doesn't clog up the pores. Uh, this again, another repurchase for me is the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Peach. Uh, peach is a little bit dark for me, so I went to get Light Peach again. This does me more in the summer because in the winter I like to use the tinted eye brightener because it's like the, uh, the liquid version. This one is very, very liquidy. It's nearly like water and it does give um, good correction when used with a brush. Whereas this, I find it's a little bit harder to work with in the winter. It can look a bit cakey and a bit dry looking. So I like to use it in the summer, but I thought my other one was running out and I would keep it just in case I needed a little bit more coverage because it is a wee bit more buildable. I picked up the muchly hyped um, Sesh Vite Dry Fast Top Coat. Um, I've only used it once. I can't say I was that impressed just because I put on nail polish and I did like chip like the next day so I wasn't too impressed with that. But um, I do think it will be handy for those sort of nice nail polishes that don't dry that quickly. So um, I'm excited to branch out a bit more because before I'm always afraid of which brands of nail polishes I go for because if they do take a long time to dry, I'm usually like, no. Last but not least, over the holidays, I got to try out the Tarte 
my sweet indulgences kind of a holiday gift set unfortunately i didn't get to show you guys this any earlier but i thought i would show you it in the haul anyway just because i'm using two of the eyeshadows and basically it's like um a little box that has like three different booklets in it i've got out one out here ready to show you but each one has different things so like blushes mascaras eyeshadow palettes things like that and it was really really good value for money so i'm really upset i didn't get to show you this because it was available on qvc for you american viewers out there there. but it was a chance for me to try out Tarte products for the first time and I was really pleasantly surprised. I've never, I've heard good things but I've never tried them myself because it's not the most accessible to me and I have to say what really stood out to me were the blushes and the eyeshadows. The eyeshadows were super blendable, super soft, just went on like an absolute dream and the blushes were really natural as well and oh gorgeous. I've heard so much about them and they definitely live up to the hype. The eyeshadows came in two little booklets and I believe, which one did I wear? One is sort of a mauve purple palette, so that's this guy here. Lovely gorgeous wearable shades and mostly matte, a few shimmers in there. But I believe I'm wearing two or three of the shades from this one today. So this is sort of the more mauve plum green one and I'm using the highlight all over under the brow and also all over the lid. I'm wearing the slightly sparkly salmon colour, shimmery salmon colour over the lid and then I'm wearing a little bit of this kind of taupey brown colour in um, on the outer crease. And these little booklets, like I said, these are the two blushes that I was quite impressed with that came in the set and I've been really loving those. I'm not going to play those for you guys just because I already have blush on. Fortunately, like I said, they are sold out but I did want to give you guys my two cents on what I thought of Tarte as a brand so far. So that was the video guys. I really hope you enjoyed that sort of demo haul thing. I've seen a few of those floating around and I always find them quite interesting. Do let me know what you want to see from my channel soon. I'm hopefully planning a lookbook really soon. I did have one ready to go but I don't know I just ended up not liking it very much and it was a little bit too like all the lookbooks that I've been doing recently which all have sort of been similar and I need to change it up a bit. So um, I'm planning a lookbook. If you do want to see any particular videos from me, don't forget to leave your requests in the comments below, along with anything else you have to add to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys missed me. I missed you guys so much and I've really enjoyed filming again. So I hope you've all had a great day and I will see you in my next one. Really sticking to it. For the first time, I really feel like I have a bit of balance. So I have my balance with my boyfriend, who obviously is a bit easier because I do live, we do live together. Happy